Gone in that damn prime land, man. Check it out, man. Y'all already know what time it is, man. Hey, I know that I've been MIA for the last couple of days, but I've been I've been working on a lot of stuff, man. A lot of real life stuff, a lot of all that stuff, man. So, you know, you know how it goes. I'm not gonna. Y'all know I got a regular nine to five, and I am very busy, and they are and things are always changing. It's always fluid, and so because of that. I'm not always going to be able to get you all this stuff as soon as you want. If y'all still want me to go through the transfer portal stuff, and, you know, if y'all want me to talk about young Zico Suave leave, well, entering the portal, not necessarily leaving and all that good stuff, man, y'all let me know down in the comment section, man. But, like I said, there's a lot going on right now. So, if y'all don't do nothing else, man, can y'all get down in the comment section, show your boy some love, some encouragement and all that, man, because I need it from y'all. I need it now tonight. You know I need it more. Anyway, if y'all know that, if y'all like, like I, I mean, I, I like old school. It was a good movie, but it is what it is, man. Anyway, this is what we're here to talk about, man. And if nobody told y'all this today, man, y'all my brothers, my sisters, my family. Love each and every last one of y'all. Let's get right into it. So check it out. EJ Horton, EJ Horton has committed to the University of Colorado Buffaloes, man. And here we go. He says, if I execute this time, I'm making crazy M's. Not only in the NFL, uh, if you if you go on to the league, man, but uh, also you can be making crazy, well, not, maybe not crazy M's, but hey, you can get some good money with your NIL as far as your own name, image, and likeness and being able to do because you know you're going to be on main. When you come to the University of Colorado, you are going to be on main stage. It's a gift and a curse. You automatically get main stage, but at the same time, when you're in the limelight and you're already there, guess what? You get all the you get all the love. You gonna get all the hate too, man. It just is what it is. It's the nature of the beast. Do I believe he gonna come? They, they classify him as a speedster, and uh, he also should have multiple years of eligibility left. At least two years left. I don't know how that COVID year goes, man. Sometimes it's like it's like they they some for some people it'll act like they actually gave everybody else everybody an extra year of eligibility in which case he would have three but we know he should at least have two uh when he when he gets there but hey these these are his inf his stats his information and all that good stuff man <laughs> six foot 170 and again from the from charleston not not charleston you got a child charleston if you if y'all know if you know about the low country man you know you know i went to university of south carolina man all my partners were from charleston so you know north charleston south carolina to be to be exact goose creek all them areas and stuff like that man so hey it is is what it is but look classified as a speedster and uh you know like i said he got a couple of years of eligibility left and you get to get paired with guys like jimmy horn jr um you, we 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 know we we don't know we don't know if hook's coming or not uh that that's not something that's known uh but like i said you got you got a few other guys that's, that's going to be paired with you uh you know uh xavier weaver from uh ucf coming all those you know it's, it's, it's gonna be one of those things where some wide receivers were lost, but as Coach Prime said, we don't even have to worry about that really because they coming. We're going to backfield accordingly, and, and everything is going to happen. And y'all don't know, like he said on uh, Pat McAfee, y'all don't know what's coming, but we do. And that's all that matters is that we know what's coming. And that's all you get. That's all you can really go by, man. So right now, this is what we're going to do. We're going to sit back, watch what happens, watch everything unfold. And like I said, young man, he should be able to get in. And uh, hopefully he'll be able to contribute immediately. He was a three-star. And a lot of people always say, you know, like the stars don't matter, man. It's how hard you're willing to work when you get there. And if you're willing to accept the challenge, that's what I'm more, I'm, I'm, I'm more worried about that than how many stars a person has, man. Because like I said, you got guys, Aaron Rodgers, Cooper Cup, <laughs> like zero, literally zero stars. The Kelsey brothers, two stars. Like, come on, man. It, it really, it really doesn't make a big difference. If you're willing to come in and work, uh, you can be successful, but you got to be willing to like, you leave your reservations at the door and go all out. Anyway, y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section, man. Hopefully y'all uh, enjoyed this joint. Let me know what y'all want to see next, and I'm going to holler at y'all next time. Till next time. It's your boy, Jay Easy, a.k.a. Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Champ. Guys,